But Florence County teams trying to get into Monday and Tuesday's district championship games. It's coming up next on X Sports Today. Going the distance for local sports. This is X Sports Today. Welcome to X Sports Today. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off with high school basketball, where both Lawrence County teams were in action in their district semifinals last night. Starting first with the Lady Cats, they're taking on Murfreesboro Central for the third time this season, trying to win the rubber match and etch their name into the championship game. Lady Cass trying to advance to the championship game for the second time in the last three years. Here in the first quarter, J.C. Scott getting the scoring going, attempts a three. That one rattles in, out, and then eventually rolls in. Then it's Sophie Cole off the feet. She's going to go off the glass and add the foul. Then it's Lady K. King driving into the lane as that runner falls through. Then in the second quarter, King going to heat up from three. This time from the deep wing, knocks it down. Then the lob in the corner. It's King again going to step up and knock down the three. Lady Cats led by two at the half. Here in the third, Sadie Grace Cole coming up with the steal. Takes it to the other end for the easy finish. Then King driving to the paint. Gets a runner to go. She would finish with a team high 13 points. And Ryan Hughes in the paint. Goes off the glass with the left hand. Moving ahead to the fourth. Cabri Tennant. Quick release three. And she knocks that one down. And it's going to be Cole. Finding an open Tennant who goes off the glass for two. But the Lady Cats would fall on this one late. 41 to 39. Coming up next, we head on over to the boys' side where the Wildcats look to knock off Tullahoma for the third time this year. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. The flooring that makes the right first impression start by choosing us, floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union, not for profit, for service. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931-201. 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. Going the distance for local sports. This is X Sports Today. Welcome back to X Sports Today. Now over to the boys side of things in the district tournament where Lawrence County was looking to advance to the championship game for the second year in a row. Standing in their way last night was Tullahoma as they tried to defeat the other Wildcats for the third time this season. Wildcat boys trying to make it to the championship game for the second straight year. Here in the first quarter, Alex Bedford going to start to heat up, knocking down the three-pointer. Then it's Logan Boswell, Johnny on the spot here with the steal and the finish on the other end. Moving ahead to the second quarter, it's Russ Brewer. Straight away, he's going to knock down the three-pointer. Then Brewer in the corner. So after some nice ball movement, he would hit another three. Then they're going to find Brewer again, knocks down another three. The Wildcats led by 12 at the half. Moving ahead to the third, it's Bedford coming up with the steal, and he's going to take this one to the other end, going off the glass with the left hand. Then Bedford in the corner off the feed from Colton Tucker. He's going to knock down the three. He led all scores with 18 points. Moving ahead to the fourth, Long. 
Blake Long, that is, drives and finds an open. Braden Fields for two, and off a nice design inbounds play, it's Wes Brewer. Gets the layup to go. He would finish with 15 points as the Wildcats advance, winning 49 to 34. That does it for Exports today. Have a great day, a great weekend, and we'll see you once again tonight. Going the distance with local sports. This is the Exports Network.